Hello, welcome to Citizens Forum. It is Wednesday, January the 30th. I'd like to start by thanking our volunteer crew and the Shaw staff that makes this program happen every couple of weeks. Uh, my first guest is Amanda McDonald, and we're going to be talking about a group called Walk on Victoria. And it's a group that advocates for people like me who are pedestrians and walkers. The, um, I would say the bottom of the food chain, but let's see where we go. Um, so, Amanda, I mean, I'm a great supporter. In fact, we got in touch because I, w I was sort of interested in just getting more information, getting involved. But what does Walk on Victoria do? So, Walk on Victoria, we're a volunteer-run organization, and we are Greater Victoria's pedestrian advocacy group. Mm -hmm. So, we want to promote making Victoria a safer and more enjoyable place to walk for all citizens. So like you said, you're a pedestrian, I'm a pedestrian, but at some point everyone's a pedestrian. We all use the sidewalk at some point, even if it's not your main form of transportation. So we really want to make sure that pedestrians are represented when decisions are being made at government or at other levels so that we have a voice. So that's why Walk on Victoria was founded. We were founded about five years ago, and since then we've been growing and more people are hearing about us, and we really just want to get the message out that pedestrians have rights and we deserve to be heard mm -hmm. at the table. I was driving here with a friend and we passed uh, Cook Street around Pandora, um, coming down Pandora past Cook. And there was a guy on the other side of the street on a bicycle on the sidewalk at speed. I mean, just bull bullying and boorish behavior because there were lots of people walking, including a woman pushing a baby. And he went and it's it's crazy you know to me that's absolutely crazy and yet it's like there are no rules and if there are rules nobody knows what they are mm -hmm. and it's it, it's not good I don't find that to be good yeah. so yeah. definitely there needs to be a space for pedestrians so generally we have the sidewalk but there's other users of the sidewalk as well like for example people are pushing their baby carriages around but you know especially on Pandora a street that already has bike lanes really the cyclist should be in the bike lanes on that street and shouldn't be on the sidewalk and I think it's actually illegal to ride your bike on the sidewalk so there needs to be more enforcement of those type of actions and it is dangerous for, de for pedestrians if you're walking down the street and a bike zips around you um, so we need to find spaces so that we can all share the road and have our spaces. It creates anger and bad mm -hmm. feeling as well. I mean, nobody yeah. likes to have that happen to them. No, exactly. And, and, uh, and there's, yeah, we need to be safe as pedestrians. We need to feel that we can walk down the street and not be afraid of being hit by a vehicle or being And not hit. down the street, but down the, just down the sidewalk. Just down the sidewalk. <laughs> just down the sidewalk. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, what are, well, we've sort of been talking about it, but the concerns about walkability in mm -hmm. Victoria from, from the group's perspective. Yeah, so we actually, we do a member survey every year usually, and we also try to get out in the public and go to events like Car Free Day or Jane's Walk Festival. So when we talk to our members, we hear a lot of the same things, things like more marked crosswalks. So those are, you know, those zebra striped lines in the middle between intersections. There's few and far between in Victoria and Saanich and going out to Greater Victoria. Having things like lights at some of those crosswalks. So even if you have that marked crosswalk, having better lighting so, you know, cars can see pedestrians. Having better maintained sidewalks. So a lot of, you know, especially well-used sidewalks they might have uh, need repair there might be lips in the sidewalk for people might trip on them um, and enforce the rules and enforcing enforce the, the rules, rules. Yeah. for sure enforcing um, part of that goes towards making sure that everyone who uses the road and the sidewalk is aware of the rules so that if there are crosswalks making sure that drivers are stopping at those crosswalks I know I've seen personally cars zip through this the crosswalk Definitely and more more mm -hmm. than before. Yeah. yeah, more than before and, and not... The vast majority of people are good. Some are yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, but there is this group who, you know, if they miss your heel yeah. by 12 inches, yeah. then and, that's not bad. And think people like to blame pedestrians for, you know, jaywalking or crossing the road where they shouldn't. But actually, about 70% of 
accidents between cars and pedestrians happen at intersections. So it's cars, you know, when they're pulling up and maybe they're turning right, not yielding to pedestrians, uh, going too fast around those corners, not watching. So most actually happen at those intersections or, you know, marked crosswalks. So it needs to be, you know, enforcement and educating, you know, everyone who uses the road that pedestrians are here and to make sure that we're Treat heard. With respect. Exactly. Because it's not us, it's mm -hmm. everybody, because everybody mm -hmm. is a pedestrian. Yeah. I don't like to walk downtown anymore. Mm. You know, I, I try to stay away from walking yeah. downtown, which is really unfortunate because yeah. I love walking. Yeah. But I find it's the, the noise and the brightness mm -hmm. of the lights and yeah. the, you know, the sidewalks are, are, you know, you never know what's going to happen. I've seen crazy mm -hmm. things downtown from a, yeah. from a walker's perspective, and I just don't like it anymore, which yeah. is a shame. Definitely. I mean, the thing is that some people have to rely on walking as a form of transportation. I mean, personally, I don't own a vehicle and I walk to work every day. I walk to, you know, go to restaurants, go shopping, meet friends. I walk downtown and I don't have another option other than, you know, occasionally I take transit or car share. But, you know, there are people who rely on it. So we need to make sure that those people who need to walk places and don't have an option have a safe place and an enjoyable place. And... You know. And all we're asking for is the enforcement of the rules, or, or even to make people aware of what the rules are, because the rules yeah. are that bicycles are not supposed to be ridden on sidewalks. I think that's the bylaw, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And probably the same with skateboards. Yeah. And at least if you're going to do it, you should do it with respect for everybody else. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that I don't think the police put much time and effort into it. No. No. I haven't seen too many campaigns. We saw one where police were actually ticketing pedestrians crossing uh, when the countdown had started in the crosswalk yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, just I downtown yeah. and they were policing and giving pedestrians tickets but I've never seen them enforcing drivers who zip through crosswalks yeah. or bicyclists who go on the sidewalk and are hitting pedestrians yeah. so there definitely needs to be more attention and and less blaming pedestrians. So, you know, if we're out there walking, a lot of the typical response is, well, pedestrians, you know, you should, shouldn't be listening to music or you shouldn't, you should be wearing bright visibility gear. And I mean, no one's gonna be walking around Victoria wearing their safety gear unless it's part of your job. So, you know, if it makes you feel safer to wait, wear bright colors, you know, walking around, but it shouldn't be, the owner shouldn't be on pedestrians to make sure cars stop for them, um, really, because if you're getting hit by a car, you know, you're the one who's going to be injured or killed, oh, that ever true? like yeah. vastly more than the driver. Uh, yeah, it's just um, following the rules and respecting mm -hmm. everybody else because exactly. because everybody who's hearing this is a pedestrian at one point exactly. or another. So you know, like it's all say. of us. Yeah, yeah. For, even if you drive primarily, you might drive downtown, but you go for a walk for coffee, walk down. You know, other people, even if you live in the suburbs or in Langford or you know, you might take your dog for a walk or walk to the shops. You know, everyone is a pedestrian at some point. So, you know, and one thing I heard last week that was interesting is that we live in a democratic society and road users should be treated as a democracy. We should all get a voice. However, the voices seem to be outnumbered by a small group and who seem to get kind of the rules catered to them and often pedestrians, we are lower on the totem pole. And, we definitely are. you know, we don't get the same equal voice yeah, yeah. as other road users get so yeah, yeah. you know we try to advocate for pedestrians our organization at the city level and all municipalities at the provincial level to make sure that we are heard and these concerns yeah. are, are and too. <laughs> I, I used to bike a lot mm -hmm. and I used to bike on the sidewalk quite often yeah. mm -hmm. and I didn't even know it was yeah. against the rules I had yeah. no idea um, I was a very polite sidewalk biker so if mm -hmm. I saw someone coming out I always get off the bike yeah. and I wouldn't do it on a busy sidewalk but you know but I would always get off the bike and walk past them but even that I mean if you're moving at speed along a sidewalk mm -hmm. it's so you know I, I'm sure there are better solutions mm -hmm. there are solutions out there and we can do this stuff yeah um, I mean I, I I would love to see uh, a future where at, even if there were like one or two routes, let's say mm -hmm. for people who lived in the Quadra Mackenzie area, mm -hmm. a route to come towards downtown along a street that had mm -hmm. nothing except pedestrians, mm -hmm. right? It could be planted and beautiful. It would be like walking through a 
heavenly paradise, mm -hmm. you know? People, yeah. I mean, assuming if people would want their, so their street would be almost car free, except maybe for the locals. Mm -hmm. And or just a route into town where we could walk. I just think it would be wonderful. Yeah. So one of the things we talk about is, you know, our two things is safety and enjoyability. And there's things that can be done to make walking also enjoyable. And having, you know, better place making things like art and having even benches, uh, water fountains, installations to make it a you know wide boulevard. And that is definitely an option. I know there's been a lot of talk in Victoria about closing down Government Street to pedestrians for a while. And if the city plans on doing that, they should really make sure that if they close that street, they should have all these other features. They'll make it an enjoyable place to walk and having these pedestrian corridors. So some of that planning needs to happen at the municipal level. And from a planning perspective, is when you lay out your city, your neighborhood plan, I think often you plan, city planners, they plan for roads first. Here's where the car is going to go. Maybe they'll put a bike lane and then it's kind of like, well, here's the sidewalks. So we've tried to advocate, for example, near Mayfair on the Douglas Corridor, when they were building that mall, we really went to the city and said, you know, a lot of people take the bus there. You, that sidewalk in front of that mall needs to be much wider because the way it was previously, you know, if people waited at the bus stop, they took up the room on the sidewalk. So it's making sure that we're factored into the design of these cities. And, you know, there are examples, you know, a lot of people give examples of European cities that have downtowns that are very walkable, pedestrian boulevards and... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in you know, I think places, there it's... are places where it's done and it would be a good thing for locals and for tourists as well to have these spaces. So, and like you said, it's the connectivity. So even if you had, you know, Victoria had uh, Government Street, but that's just a limited area, you need to have that connectivity so pedestrians can get from one area to another. In pleasantness. In pleasantness. Yeah. And places, I mean, I've been to places in uh, Sanish where the sidewalk just ends and there's no sidewalk there at all. And, you know, I'm able body, but I imagine people who might not be might have even more of a challenge there. And, you know, you're walking on the side of a dirt road. It's not exactly safe, definitely not enjoyable. So, you know, there's improvements that can be made at a small scale, but it also takes big picture thinking on behalf of the city and all cities in Greater Victoria to make that happen. Can you, have you been or seen pictures of other towns and cities where they have some great stuff? Uh, yes, I think there's, uh, one that comes to mind is, I know in you know Chicago, Millennium Park is really well known as a big pedestrian area where they have art installation and their waterfront is very pedestrian friendly. I know a lot of European cities like Amsterdam, they have, you know, their downtown cores are more cobblestone, uh, pedestrian only, but part of that is because some of those older cities were designed before cars were invented. So our cities really in Canada are designed for cars first. Yeah. Our, oh, you know, are. our highways and when you think about it, you know, that's the dream is the fancy sports car driving down the highway. You know, they never show the traffic. They never show people stuck in the Colwood crawl in those ads. So, you know, it's something that designing for pedestrians has to happen yeah. so and in terms of protecting the planet mm -hmm. and the environment we're good mm -hmm. you know we're good we're, yeah. we're just zero, out there walking zero emission yeah carbon neutral form carbon, of transportation yeah, yeah, yeah. We're pretty good <laughs> definitely so it's you know something that if we want to contribute to those environmental goals that walking is an easy way to do it and you know, if there are city streets, like you were saying, that you don't necessarily feel safe or comfortable walking downtown, but if it was a place where you felt safe and you could enjoy walking, maybe you would walk, you know, more. And support all those local businesses. Exactly, exactly. So it really, it's, you know, for some people, walking is a form of transportation. It can also be a form of exercise, you know, to enjoy our beautiful city we live in. So it's, you know, serves multiple purposes. And so we're just trying to make sure that there's a place for us to do that. Thank you, Amanda. We're out of time. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. So, walking. Thanks for watching this segment of Citizens Forum.